What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So when you're creating plans in layout from your SketchUp models, you need to be able to create a bunch of different kinds of views to convey what you want. In this video, we're gonna talk about all of those views and how you can create them. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this video, I wanted to talk through some of the different views that you can create for creating plans in layout. So um, a lot of the time, you're gonna wanna create a bunch of different views, whether that's floor plans, whether that's elevation views, all of these can be taken from SketchUp and placed into layout. So I wanted to talk you through some of the top views that we might create in these plans. So. First off, you've got perspective view. And so perspective view is very simple, right? You just set your camera to wherever you want it to be and then you save a scene. And then from there, you can toggle into layout and you can add those perspective views um, to your plan sheets if you decide that you want to do that. All right, so next up, we have an isometric view. And so what an isometric view is going to do is it's going to be a view of your building that's taken at an angle but you're going to go from having perspective turned on to having parallel projection turned on. So um, this just gives you kind of a different look of your building when you create an isometric like this. And so you can see how the perspective lines of your isometric view are no longer going to run to a vanishing point. They're just gonna run parallel to each other, giving you this different look. So in addition, you can also create an isometric view that's black and white by changing styles. And so if I was to go with a style that has your face settings set to like a white color, instead of having the materials in here, you can use that in order to create a black and white um, isometric view. And so next up, let's talk about your floor plans. So you create floor plans inside of SketchUp using section planes. So let's say that I was to go back to my perspective view right here and I wanted to create a floor plan, what I would do is I would add a section plane like this, place it straight up and down, and then I would go into a top view, like this, and I would toggle parallel projection off. That way you don't have your lines going back to a vanishing point anymore. Now, we're probably going to want to take our style, whatever style we have selected, and we're going to want to turn off section plane so that's not showing up in here. A lot of the time you're going to toggle your site off as well to show only your building. So you can use this in order to quickly save a floor plan view, which is really what you're gonna base your main plan on. So I'm just going to take a viewport, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it on this page right here. But then what we can do is we can take that viewport and select our floor plan view right here. So I've got my color floor plan in here like this. Well, then you could take that and you could set it to scale. So for example, say that I wanted this to be a little bigger, maybe I'd go with this 3 16 equals an inch. But you're gonna use this in order to create your floor plans for use inside the layout. So next up, not only do you have the ability to create that floor plan in color, you can also select a different style like the hidden line style in order to do this in black and white. And so notice how as soon as I toggle to the hidden line style, what that does is that toggles me to a style that's going to have everything in black and white, right? It's not showing materials anymore, it's just showing my lines and edges. Now you can come in and adjust some things like the width of the lines that are created by that section cut, as well as toggling things like section fills on or off. So once you do that, I'm gonna update this style you can create a view like this one and then bring that over into layout. So if I jump into layout, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do an update model reference just to make sure I'm pulling the most up-to-date information. But then I can go to my black and white floor plan view and bring in a black and white floor plan. Now you can reference the video I did yesterday talking about rendering styles in order to clean this up. But generally speaking, we would come in here and change this to either a vector or a hybrid. And so once I toggle this to a vector, you're gonna get smooth lines in your plans. So you can use the black and white floor plan in order to create this kind of like classic looking floor plan in layout. All right, so next up, let's talk a little bit about elevations. And so with elevations, usually what you want is you want a straight on view. Right, so we're gonna click in here in order to get a straight on view. One thing you need to remember is you need to go in and you need to turn your perspective off by toggling to parallel projection. When you do that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a straight on view of your building like this. 
And notice how you can toggle between the different views in here using your standard views. I do that a lot. But one thing that you might wanna think about when you're doing this, because this doesn't really have a lot of depth to it. And so I'm going to pick a style that has a white background right here, but notice how this doesn't have a whole lot of depth. So a lot of the time what you can do in your elevation views is you can come down here and you can toggle your shadows on in your scene, and then you can adjust your time of day in here. Well, when you do that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you shadows on your surface right here that give you a little bit of additional depth. So you can use that in order to quickly create this elevation view. Now, there's a lot going on in this elevation view, right? One thing you might wanna consider is you might wanna consider creating a new style. And within that new style, if you still wanna keep your colors, you can do that, but you might wanna consider in your face settings going to shaded mode instead of your textured mode. And so if you go into shaded mode, what that's gonna do is that's going to basically shade your walls with the colors of the materials like this, but the texture images themselves aren't actually gonna show up in here. And so this is a little bit of a stylistic decision, but if you look at this, and maybe we'll go to another side so you can see it as well, but if you look at this, what this does is this creates a really simple view that isn't overwhelming to the eye. So you can create an elevation view with shaded textures instead of um, full on textured textures using your styles. Now, another thing you might wanna consider when you're doing this is you might also wanna consider picking a black and white style. And so let's say we were to go back to the front of this building like this, if we go into our styles, we can toggle this into, we'll go with uh, this hidden line style right here. Well, notice how when you do that, that's gonna give you a much cleaner look for your elevation. And we could toggle our site off if we wanted to as well. That's one of the benefits of having this on its own tag, but you can see how um, this is going to give you a much cleaner elevation view. And now if you wanted your lines to be a little bit thicker, you could go in and turn on your profiles like this and then give those some additional thickness. So notice how if I toggle those profiles up, your lines are gonna get a little bit thicker, but then you could save this to its own view um, inside of SketchUp and then bring that into layout. Now, let's talk a little bit about creating interior views. And notice how I keep toggling back to this overall perspective view um, in order to get to this quickly. So it's always nice to have like a working view that you can just toggle back to that has everything turned on. But what I'm gonna do in this situation is I wanna create an interior view that's going to show me part of this building. Well, what I can do is I can add a section plane across the building. I'm just gonna tap the left arrow key to lock this this view right here, and you can move that section plane just like any other geometry in SketchUp. And in this case, we're gonna say that we want maybe a section plane like this one right here. Well then, what you can do is you can toggle into that front on view, you can toggle your parallel projection on, and you can probably toggle to a style that um, has section planes turned off like this, but you can see what that's done is that's come in here and that's created this view that kind of has this like thicker outline where the section plane cuts across your building um, and it gives you a straight on elevation view which you can then save. Okay, so now let's jump over into our perspective view and create one more view. And so this one is going to be similar to our isometric view, but we're gonna make this one an isometric section. This is a great one for giving like an overall 3D look to your building. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add a section plane in here like this. And you can kind of move this up and down depending on, uh, depending on where you want that cutting through your building. But we're gonna select a style that's black and white that also has your section planes toggled off. And then you can leave shadows on or off depending on what you're trying to do here. I actually think the shadows kind of add a little bit of contrast in here and I think that it's kind of helpful, but you can do that either way. But you can use an isometric section cut in here in order to give kind of an overview of your building. All right, so if you wanna learn more about how to take these views and create complete plans from them, make sure you check out the SketchUp Essentials course. Um, that's my start to finish course on how to use SketchUp. It's on sale this week through the end of the week and I'll link to it on this page. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.